Hi, this is Paul from the Coda community. And today I have a very improvised tutorial for you. So as you may know, I'm a Coda expert for hire and I'm doing work for different clients. And I used to have a task tracker doc where I would track uh, time spent on different tasks. Uh, Today I was rewriting that because the old one was obsolete and I thought what if I build it so that I can share uh, with each client I can share a smaller doc where they can see and up-to-date information on which tasks I've done for them, how many time I tracked and so on. And this gave me an idea for this tutorial. So. Uh, this here, for example, this here is a very simplified view of my private doc uh, where I have tasks for different clients. I can have multiple clients at once. I want to track this in one place because, for example, I want to have some visibility into which hours are the hours where I'm uh, most productive and so on. And so it's a very like, straightforward example. I have clients, I have tasks, and for like there is this client Huli for whom I want to make this um, smaller doc that I can share just with Huli. So like I can have some uh, list of tasks is imported pretty straightforward, and like I can build some charts on this data and so on. But okay, so that's all great. Uh, what if I want to make a similar doc for, let's say, another client, let's say for Quitter? And that would be a problem because even if I copy the doc, let's say I copy the doc, and now we have a problem like. that I cannot just delete this uh, table because if I delete this table all the views that I've built uh, are now gone. I cannot replace it with a view of tasks for this client. It's not trivial. I Yeah, I cannot replace it. And imagine if I have like lots of stuff built. I have some really nice views, really nice charts, some formula uh, based on this table and I can't just import a new one. I have to rebuild the doc from scratch. So what do I do in order to have this doc as a template? So here are the steps that you need to do. So this is the topic of this tutorial, how you make a doc in such way that you can swap cross doc tables, cross doc views, and reuse that template for like multiple different clients. So okay, so what we need to do, of course, we already have this view. We and we have a, a lot of things built upon this import table. So we need to we need to keep it. We cannot just delete it. We need to keep it, but we need to make it so that all clients can use that view. So that's how we're gonna do this. So we may keep the. Let's copy this. Um, let's duplicate this section, and this will be the clients. So we need to have a cross doc table that has all the rows for all the clients. And for that table to have something, the easiest way, the one that we will actually need is to enter the row ID, to add the row ID per column. So you do this by going to pro uh, adding a new column, selecting properties and row ID. And you hide everything else accept that row ID and you make sure that you remove the filter. So this is going to be, this is now going to be the table, the export for all clients. 
It may take some time before this is updated because it needs to land on the snapshot. Okay. Yeah, so now we have this table of all tasks and And now we have like we, we have task for Huli and don't forget to show the row ID here. And let's make a similar view tasks for quitter and update the filter to quitter. Now we still have this tasks table, right? But no data. And now we import the, another view, the tasks for quitter. These are just the naming conventions that I'm using in my docs. The out are the views that go into other docs. The in uh, are the sync tables that are synchronized back here, that are imported back here. And it's just the conventions. I'll explain on them later in a separate blog post. And by the way, there's going to be a blog that I'm going to finally author, codatrix.com. Make sure to subscribe. All right, so you will import the tasks for Quitter as a separate import table. So what you need to do now is make a column and link, link these two. So this will be the in tasks for Quitter builder row ID matching this row. row ID from the object and we are interested in the row object not the code row but the imported row object the JSON and so that it's not a list we unwrap the list to just get the first item and here you go we have like we have a list of all tasks but with no data and as a separate import, we have only the tasks for Quitter. Now it's only the matter of updating, which is reading not from the row of, that's the basis of this table, but reading from the row object from here, linked task row, task, available time, Link task row available time. And also we just go and update the filters so that like link task row is not blank. And you kind of do the same for the time distribution. You add a filter for link task row is not blank. And here it is. So yeah, I guess something just was wrong for a little bit, but you, we updated the chart and now this only shows the data for tasks that are imported here. And let's say you want to now clone this template to use with Huli. Let's copy the doc once again. You can safely delete this data. We still keep the end tasks.
you import the view that we have for Huli. Yeah, it may take a few moments. Yeah, here are the tasks for Huli. And you update the formula for link task row to read from and tasks for Huli. And pretty much just row ID, fix a few references, and everything else works. So here are the tasks for Huli. And the dashboard again works. So you didn't have to rebuild all that. So that's how, that's a trick how to build a template doc that you can then update and share with different clients by importing all the rows so that this all rows table, no data, it dictates that you, it guarantees that you will have row for all the tasks that are you are merging from here. So the idea is that you import a view with the task separately. You don't build anything on top of this table. You're just importing it as a data source. You can delete it, replace it, whatever. But instead you have a table with all rows. This table makes sure that there will be rows created for each of the tasks. They are guaranteed as soon as you sync this table. It's, it guarantees you that there will be rows for all for all rows from here, though there will be rows in here. Then you just look up them by row ID or whatever you can match on. And row ID is perhaps one of the best choices or the true row ID, the UID or whatever you choose. And then you build the rest of your visualiza visualization for the client, like uh, extra columns, whatever, you build them on top of this in tasks table. And yeah, and that makes sure that when you replace the data source, all the views that you've built, they remain intact. And yeah, and don't forget to filter out for blank rows because those are for the other clients that we don't have the data for. Okay, hope that's helpful. I think that at some point I will share my new uh, client work tracker doc when I'm done with that. And, but yeah, feel free to use this trick in your setups. Cheers.